Gulu is the largest town in northern Uganda. The town is growing rapidly and is now the north's business hub. This is despite the fact that it has been in more than two decades of war. Gulu is the regional headquarters for the north, northern part of Uganda. But it is also the area which was the epicenter of the Lord's Resistance Movement led by Joseph Kony, who is currently being sought by the International Criminal Court. People suffered a great deal in this area. They were sent out of their homes, they ran out of their homes. Many of them were killed. Some, many young people were abducted to join Kony's uh, army. And so a lot of people came into the city and they are ripe for evangelism. With a population of around 150,000, Gulu is the home to Gulu Public University. Among the university student population here is Gulu University Seventh-day Adventist Community, abbreviated as GUSTAC. This group of Adventist students gather under the shade regularly for worship every Sabbath, together with other locals from the surrounding community. Gulu University, we have uh, uh, a church association called the Guzdak, that is Gulu University Seventh day Adventist community, where uh, we come together as students of the church to share uh, the experience, to share the faith, and uh, this helps us uh, in spiritual growth. Some time ago, Guzdak leaders met with Dr. Hudson Chibuka and Dr. Israel Cafero and informed them of their movement in the university. In this university, we have a group of about 40 Seventh-day Adventist students. They are active, their organization is registered with the university, and they are involved in several activities which help them to evangelize their friends. When I met their leaders, they told me about this program, and so I got interested and decided to work with them and also work through the union, working with the youth and chaplaincy director, Dr. Cafero. We made arrangements to come here to work with these students to help them in their evangelistic endeavors, to encourage them, and that's why we came here. In October 2012, the Gulu University Seventh-day Adventist community organized evangelistic meetings within the campus in which students and the community around attended various presentations including Bible study and public lectures which were presented by Dr. Chibuka and Kafero. During this time we held meetings every evening preaching to the students and the community. We presented public lectures in colleges around and secondary schools around and did a little bit of community work. The gatherings were sometimes challenged by rains in the evenings, power blackouts and university strikes where students engaged the police in running battles. We enjoyed our work here. The students were very active, sacrificed all the time. Of course there were challenges. At the same time, we had some blessings. At the end of it all, seven precious souls were won to Christ through baptism. Jesus is mine, oh, And I'm so glad that I've joined the church once again because I was a lost sheep and I'm happy to come back to church to be united with my brothers wherever they are all over the world. On this very day today I've decided to get baptized and I'm very much excited. I'm feeling relieved because I feel my old burdens have all gone away. Through the numerous evangelistic campaigns that Gustak has held, many souls have been won for Christ. Stella is one of those who gave their life to Christ as a result of the Crusades. Shortly after her baptism, Stella, a single mother of two, was faced by a host of challenges in her life. Her only grass-thatched house was set on fire and burnt into ashes by unknown assailants, as if to oppose her move to follow Christ. I know God is in control. He will take care of me and my children. Thanks to the efforts of Adventist students from Gulu University, she now has accommodation and is able to pay school fees for her daughter. These people, they, they are kind and lovely. 
they get, take care of me like their own blood sister, and I'm very happy with these people. Stella had two daughters. She was baptized. Shortly after her baptism, her grass thatched heart was burnt to ashes. And so the students took her up and contribute money from their meager resources to rent a room for her where she stays with her two daughters. Now, as the Students Association of Gulu University, we help Madame Ajok Stella for the school fees of her little child. That is a little child is called Birunji. And we also look at other needs, spiritual needs. Also among the baptized was Michael. Immediately after Michael was baptized, things were not easy for him either. Among the converts also was a young boy who is studying in a secondary school. As a result of his conversion, he was disowned by the parents and he had nowhere to go but to the church. And the church is made up of these students. From the assistance he received from Gulu Adventist community, Michael is back in school and his dream is to work hard so as to be of help to his community. And from that time, up to now, we've been paying for his fees and contributing from the members and we pay his fees. The members of Gulu University Adventist, Adventist, then they pay for my fees. Now I'm, I'm at secondary school. Now at least I'm having some hopes. So yes, Jesus yes. Christ. So again, then, the students raising money from their meager resources are supporting this young boy to go through school. They're paying his school fees. And he, right now he's in first class in secondary school. So we thank God for him, we thank God for that. He's really doing well in school, he's been performing so well, and he's giving us a lot of hope. That one time, even when all students that came from other parts of the country to study from Gulu University, that when they leave, at least we shall have someone that will remain. Maybe he will be an elder. In my dreams, I would like to be, become like a doctor. Then I would like to build the hope to become like a pastor. Then I preach to those who are not, who are non-converted to become converted. Here at Gulu University, Adventist students engage in various activities including prayer groups, Bible study and music programs, among others, which help them to strengthen their relationship with God. We have activities like the Bible study discussions. We hold them after every two days, and these have helped us to bring us together as an association. During revival meetings, the main speaker, Dr. Chibuka, led Adventist students in conducting public lectures in various institutions aimed at preparing the students to become relevant in this fast-paced world. The topic for this afternoon, as you saw it, is fast-paced life in the 21st century. How to cope? Through those lectures, I got conviction and uh, I realized there is need for much spiritual growth and much trust in God. Uh, because, you know, when things are faster, that's where even Satan takes advantage to come and influence uh, our souls. As a, a Christian, I've learned that it is God who really gives the wisdom and I, we should use this wisdom to give glory to his name and I to make it by myself by the Lord, I need you every minute, every hour. We are saved by grace. The calling is come back. At the end of the revival meetings, which also saw Dr. Kafero bring the students closer to the word of God through his inspirational Bible studies, about 14 people gave their lives to Christ. Paul was among those baptized. He is planning to help his friends in the village to learn more about God and Bible truths. May the glory be to God, because it has been a long, long process for me to find a stable church. I didn't know I would change, but there were questions I, keep, I would keep on asking myself, and even asking the church members, but nobody could give me an immediate answer. I had my Bible, reading it alone would give me a headache and I begin to sleep. But now I'm very friendly. I keep my Bible just in my bed where I sleep. Anytime I wake up in the night, I can read. So I feel so happy and so blessed, really. Thank be to God. 
Despite the strides that Golu University Seventh-day Adventist community has made in reaching out to the needs of the community members, the students still face many challenges, the most pressing one being lack of a room to conduct their worship programs. The university management gave us a place at, uh, of worship at campus that is under one of the parking yards in campus. Every morning, the students wake up as early as possible so as to occupy the school parking lot just before cars could move in. So we put every Sabbath, we put some tap lane around it and worship from that parking yard. The challenges we have is that sometimes we come, since it's a parking yard, sometimes you may come when they, they have already parked there and other times the rain disturbs us so much, most times during the worship on Sabbath. Do you like what you see? Have you been what you wanted to be? have a church we normally pray you know under the tent uh, where every other time every sabbath will come we cut the tent and keep it somewhere and post hostel and we pray that and we hope god will give us a permanent church very soon uh, near the campus we've been trying to mobilize around to see whether we get a place of worship outside campus especially and now the challenge we have is we want to mobilize some money some funds to buy the land around campus, near campus, so that we construct permanent church around the university. They have a lot of other activities that they're involved in. Unfortunately, they don't have a place of worship. Actually, they're using a shade, which is uh, very temporary, and it gives them a lot of challenges. They have raised some money. Some of the money that we had raised for this meeting, they saved it. They want to buy a piece of land and also build a representative church which they can use to worship God, where they can have no problems on Sabbath when they're worshiping, and where they can invite others to come, a place that is presentable. We appeal to you to support them, support them in their endeavors, because they're doing a noble work. God bless you.